Do you know that you can earn $200 daily designing flyers and banners for business owners online? Oh yes, you heard me right. Right from the comfort of your home and with just your smartphone, you can start earning $200 on a daily basis. Now, if this sounds like something you're interested in, then do ensure you sit back, watch this video to the very end because it's going to be a practical video where I'll be showing you how you can design flyers using different websites and also how you can offer this as a service online and start making money from it immediately. Before I go into it, if you're just coming across my channel for the very first time, you're welcome. My name is Oni Omura and here in this channel, I create content around starting and growing an online business. I go in depth with mini partition business, affiliate marketing, dropshipping business and different ways that you can earn from the online space. So if you have been looking for ways that you can start earning online, then you're definitely in the right channel and you're onto the right video. Now, one thing I would encourage you to do is to go ahead and click on the red subscribe button you see down below. Beside it, you also see a notification bell. It is important you click on that notification bell as well so that each time I drop awesome videos like this, you'll be among the first to get notified. So guys, back to the video of today. Just as I said at the beginning, I will be sharing with you how you can start earning $200 online with just your smartphone and right from the comfort of your home, designing flyers and banners for business owners. Now, I'm going to take you to a website called Fiverr.com and show you how people are making money from this site, designing flyers for business owners. After that, I will be showing you practically how you can design these flyers using your smartphone. So do ensure you sit back and enjoy this video to the very end. So the first thing to do, let's go to Fiverr, where I'll be showing you how much people are making on a daily basis designing flyers for business owners and brands. Let's go down into it. The first thing I need you to do is to go to your browser and type fiverr.com. When you come onto the site like this, go to the search bar and type professional business flyers. This is just to give you an insight of how much people like you are making here on Fiverr, designing exactly what I'll be teaching you in this video. So you can see starting from this first person, let me click on it. This person says, I will design professional flyers for your business or any purpose. And this is a level two seller, a five star rated seller actually. You can also see that he has two orders in queue, guys, two orders in queue. And he has done over 364 works already. So let me scroll and show you some of the flyers here. You can see how they are. This is something I'll be showing you how you can basically do it. So you can see some of his works here. So let's go back. Let me go ahead and click on this second seller. Let me click on it. Now, this person says, I will design a professional flyer or brochure for your business. Now, you can see it's a top-rated seller, and he has done over 3,000 jobs already. This particular seller has five orders in queue. You can actually see it here. Let me show you his pricing. Well, so when I scroll down, for the basic package, he charges $35. For the basic package, he's charging $35. For the standard, he's charging $55. And then for the premium, he's charging $100. Guys, I always say this, business is a game of numbers. Now, take for instance, he has five orders in queue. And let's say all these five orders are for the premium package. Now, go ahead and multiply five by $100. How much do you have there? $500. So this is something you can actually earn on a daily basis designing flyers on fiverr.com you can actually see it here for yourself you can even do more than 500 dollars daily designing flyers so let me just show you some of his flyers here you can see some of the designs he has you can see some of the designs these are stuff you can do you can see some simple designs that you can actually put together. Now, I'll be showing you how you can design flyers yourself in minutes. So, let's go down to the app that we'll be using to design our flyers today. So, guys, this is the app that we will be using for our design. It's called Pixel Lab. Pixel Lab. So, just go to your Play Store or your 
iOS store and install Pixel Lab. Now, this is an example. This is something I designed a um, few days back. Remember I made a video on how you can aim between 50 to 150,000 Naira monthly reselling data and airtime. And in that particular video, I made a flyer for that business and I asked if any of you wants me to go ahead and show you how to design these flyers, leave it down in the comment section. And most of you went down the comment section of that video requesting for a video of how you can actually design your own flyer. That is why I'm making this video for you. Now, apart from designing this flyer for your data and airtime reselling business, you can also learn how to design these flyers sell this service on Fiverr and make more money for yourself. Make more money for yourself, just as you have already seen. Now, this is what we'll be using as an example to design our flyers. As you can see, this is something I just designed specifically for this particular tutorial, okay? So I just did a very simple work and I'll be showing you the basic, everything you need to know and you can go ahead and try it out. Guys, one thing I want you to notice that this WhatsApp number you're seeing here is not actually my number. So don't just go start calling or start sending messages to this number. This is a random number. I just imprinted it here for the course of this particular tutorial. With that being said, let's continue with these tutorials. Now, let me move it a bit. The first thing I want you to do whenever you want to start designing is to first of all have a framework, first of all have an idea of what you want to design. It is when you have the idea that you will be able to put one or two together to come up with something beautiful. If you don't have an idea and you're coming to design something randomly, trust me, you waste the whole day and you don't have anything nice. So ensure you already have an idea of what you want to design. So in order to get this simple design, the first you need to do is to get the size. Now, for those of you that will be posting this on Fiverr, you want to start doing this on Fiverr, your client will actually give you the size of the flyers he or she wants you to design, okay? They will always give you the size because you have to work with size. There are different dimensions, some prefer their flyers to have this kind of square shape while some have rectangular shape just like this one so always request for size from your clients now when you get the size all you need to do is to click on this icon you see these three parallel dots at the top right hand corner of this app go ahead and click on it when you click on it, locate image size and click on image size. Now, this is the image size I'm working with. The width is 1280, while the height is 1880. Now, if you want a perfect square shape, all you need to do is to change this height to be the same thing as the width. Okay, so if I go ahead and change this height size from 1880 to 1280, this is what we'll be having, a square shape, a perfect square shape. But I want to work with a rectangular shape. So I'll go back and click on it and go to image size, change the height now to 1880. Okay, this is the aspect ratio at the top, 32 by 47. Now I'll click on OK. So when you get the size you want to work with, the next thing is just bringing a plain background. Now for this particular design, as you can see on my screen, this has to do with data reselling business. I'm designing this for a data reselling business, okay? So you need to know what you want your background to look like. For this particular one I designed, you can see that my background has something like phones, something like social media apps and the rest of them. That's because this is for a data reselling business. Now to get your backgrounds, there are free sites where you can download different backgrounds for. The first one is Pixabay. The second is Pixel. Okay, Pixabay and Pixel. You can also use Google. Now let's go to Pixabay. So when you come to Pixabay like this, it says stolen free images and royalty free stock. Now just go ahead and type for the type of images you want. Let's say I want mobile phone an image of mobile phone 
okay so these are images of mobile phones that you can use for your design i think i love this one that has some social media like instagram facebook twitter and the likes so i'll click on it when you click on it you go ahead and click on free download and then download so this is what i downloaded i'll be using this particular one for my design so you can download anything say you want phone or you want social media apps you want food you want anything at all you want computer you want internet anything you want to download you get it there on pixabay right now when you have your download go back to pixel in order to add the image we just downloaded from pixabay all you need to do is to click on the shape that looks like an hexagon at the bottom of your screen the one i drew an arrow to you just need to go ahead and click on it when you click on it you click on import okay then import that particular image and then give it the size that rectangular size so go ahead and click on good so this is the image i just downloaded right so i'll make it full this entire space let's go ahead and increase the size to fit into the space okay so when you're done like this all you need to do is to click on to back this is it here let me mark it we want to take this to the back okay so you click on it and it has gone to the back as you can see our sample work is now showing at the top there but it's still too clear it's too bright the writings are too bright we just need to reduce the opacity so just scroll this way scroll this way and locate opacity or is it opacity whichever one you call it this particular one you click on it click on it and then reduce this as you can see it's reducing right just reduce to your choice okay reduce to your choice i think i'm okay with it this way I'll go ahead and click on good okay i think i love it the way it is next thing we need to do guys is to go ahead and lock this particular background we have here this image we added as our background we need to lock it so that it will not be moving around so go ahead and click on this particular icon this layer icon you can see the layer icon there Go ahead and click on it when you click on it you just lock the particular image we are using as our background so we'll lock it just click on the key icon and lock it go back now you can see it's not moving it's not moving the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and import these shapes you can see this particular red is it red shape and white shape just notice what i'm saying okay so we'll just go ahead and import that shape okay it's shapes this is shape here guys if you're looking for it this is shapes so click on it now we have this square shape next thing i need to do is to increase the radius okay just increase the radius so you see where it's written radius is at zero percent i'll just go ahead and increase it okay you notice what's happening there okay i think i love it the way it is now so the next thing is to give it a color now i used a red color i'll go ahead and click on the red color again now i have four of them one two three four i'll go ahead and duplicate it into four click on copy one two three four okay you can use this to get their exact line okay i will just click on position and bring this down this particular one go to position and this will help you bring it down a bit so that they will be on the same line guys i don't know if you're following okay now when you have it this way you can close this when you have it this way it will help you position them properly click on position and move them so actually size up with the next one so this is what we have this is what we have the next thing i need to do is to go ahead and add the same shape again but a white color go ahead and click on any of these duplicate it again by clicking on copy when you click on copy now we are going to change the color we are going to change the color to white okay we want to change this color to white just like the one i have in my sample so i'll click on edit you see edit here at the bottom of your screen click on edit and now we'll go to color and click on white 
okay the next thing to do is to reduce the size reduce the size so i think something like this is okay but before we duplicate this particular white let's go ahead and lock the red shapes okay so that we don't get to move them they are already on their perfect position let's just go ahead and lock them click on your layer icon again and then lock all your red shapes now click back as you can see none of them is highlighting none of them is moving we will just work with the white one i'll go ahead and copy it that's duplicate duplicate this particular one move it this way i'll go ahead and duplicate this again copy bring it down i will copy it and bring it to the other side move it to this angle guys please take your time to get it perfectly just take your time this is actually a tutorial so i'm trying to rush it as much as i can so that it doesn't make the video too lengthy so guys i think our shape are in place as you can see the position are a bit okay then the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and add test before we add test let me increase our sample work again so that you guys can see it so this is what we are working with this is what we are working with we can go ahead and add all these um logos that's the network logo mtn etel glow nine mobile just go to your google and download those ones go to google and type mtn logo png download etel logo png download download it from google guys now before we go in with our writing we need to go lock the white shapes as well so i'll go and lock the four white shapes good now we cannot move them around now the next thing you need to do is to go to the bottom of your screen and click on import this is my mtn logo just resize it just bring in all your logos resize this i'll import again click on import so this is my Airtel logo. I'll just reduce the size again. Put it this way. We are still going to resize it. Import again. Get your Glow and Nine Mobile logo. Just put it somewhere here. Put it there. Import the last one, which is for Glow. This is Glow. Resize it put it somewhere here then the last but not the least if you wish to you can import the um all the images i have this particular one this particular one okay um it has both glow empty and like the whole four of them i have i have this i'll just resize it and put it here let's resize them one after another this is for mtn remember these are sample work guys this for mtn i can just place it here Place it there. This for Airtel. Because I want this to be a kind of professional, I'll be checking the size here. Guys, I'm sure you're not just doing some random stuff. Of course, practice makes perfect. You can practice and practice until you can do something beautiful. You can design something beautiful. I think the size is okay. So for MTN, I said. 1.5 gig 950 guys this is just some random write-up i usually sell my one gig for 400 nera for that of mtn one gig 400 um two gig 700 but let me just write something random duplicate it and just impute it in all the network so if you're doing yours you do it the way you want it to be okay this is a sample work just as i said earlier so for you to get test go ahead and click on this a icon at the bottom of your screen remember we use this particular icons to get all our shape this has gone icon for our shape now we are done with shapes the next thing is to click on this a icon for your test when you click on it click on test you can see it at the top here bring it to this point and click on edit test now we want let's say i'm working with one gig one gig equal to 400 naira 400 nera 
I'll just duplicate this and use it for all. One gig four hundred. I'll click on OK. Let me change the color to dark blue. So just scroll and locate color. When you get your color this way, click on the color you want. And I want to make the test bold. Click on B. You see test styles and make your work bold. So this is it. I can copy this, that is duplicate. Bring it down again. Edit it to 2 gig 700. So this is it now. 2 gig 700. So guys, this is what we have. The next thing I'll do now is to go ahead and match these tests together. I'll match them and then duplicate it for all the network just to make our work faster. So go to your layer bar and then match all the prices. One, two, three. I'll lock it. After locking it, you click on this match at the bottom of your screen and then match the three together. You can see it here. This is the icon I'll be clicking on to match them. I'll click on it. It says, are you sure you want to match the selected subject? I'll click OK. Now I've matched the three of them together. Click out. So this is it now. I can increase the three of them together as well as decrease them together. You get, I've matched them together. Now let's just keep them in position. Then I'll go ahead and duplicate it for all the network. So when you're designing your own, just go ahead and impute your right prices, okay? That's if you're designing for data reselling business. In my subsequent video, I'll show you how to design for restaurants, how to also design these party flyers. As you all know, if you're in Nigeria, we are in campaign season. Many people are actually designing campaign flyers for candidates, say the PDB candidates, whichever label, anyone at all. I'll show you how to design it. I'll show you how to design that. If you're interested in this, leave it down in the comment section of this video. It is only when I get lots of people that are interested, I will go ahead and make a video on it. So if you want to learn how to design party flyers that you can use for your social media, campaign for your favorite or your best candidate, you want to design a flyer, leave it down in the comment section. I'll show you how to do that. So back to our work now. I'll copy this again and bring it down here. So let's position them now. Guys, I think our tests are all in position. So let me get our sample work. Bring it to the front. Now this is our sample work. Remember, this is what we are working with as our framework. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and add my name, Onis Telecom data at your convenience that's my whatsapp now notice that the top there is actually a plain background at the top there it's a plain background so in order to get this plain background we'll just go to shape click out go to shape and use this as our plain background okay move it this way and then change the color Let's say I want to work with this plane. What I'll do is to go ahead and reduce the opacity of this color. Okay, so that I'll have something like this. Next thing to do is to add my name. Click on add test. Click on test this way. Bring it this way and add in your name. Yeah. Just to resize it. Okay, so it's at the middle now. We can change the font. Go to font. Click on font. So this is the font I'm working with, Onis Telecom. The next thing is to add data at your convenience. And that one is on a white background. Again, I'll bring in another shape and then reduce it. I'll click out now. Get a test. bring this test in change the color to red i'll change the text color so okay and then type edit the test first of all click on test again bring it down here and add whatsapp hit bold position it again So guys, this is our sample work, and as you can see, we have something similar to it. Something similar to it, if not better. This particular image I have here, I can go ahead and make it as a border. Add it here. 
and then put it to the back okay i don't know if you see something going on there if it's too bright i'll just reduce this reduce the opacity a bit i think this is okay so this is our sample work let me go ahead and delete our sample work from the screen i just deleted our sample work from the screen so this is what we have in a matter of minutes this is what we have it is not perfect i believe you can make yours perfect take your time practice practice of course makes perfect okay so the next thing you need to do just go in and lock everything remember as i'm working i'm locking them so as not to just misplace everything so let me lock all of them like this when you're done locking all the things you have you can go ahead and click on this match and then highlight all select all to match as a single design so i just selected all i'll click on the match icon click ok So we now have a single design. As you can see, I can move it around as a single design. I can reduce it. So this is what we have. This is our design. When you're done with your design like this, click on this icon to save. This particular icon here that looks like a diskette, just click on it. That's your storage icon and save as image. I particularly save... Under dimension, I click on ultra. You can see ultra so as to have everything intact. Click on save to gallery. So it has been saved to my gallery. This is our design. So guys, you can design something like this. If you want, if there are more designs you want me to show you how to do, leave it down in the comment section of this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you again in my next one. Bye. As you have seen for yourself, this is something you can do. Designing flyers is something that anybody can do it is that easy now if you watch to this point i know you've gotten value please subscribe to the channel and also share this video with your friends your families on your social media platform just go ahead and share the video there are people that are in search of businesses that they can start right from the comfort of their home and with their smartphone just go ahead and share this video with them guys don't forget to like i'll see you guys in my next one bye for now